hello and welcome this is my gt4 uh, race flop we had a monday gt4 series uh, organized by rci and i ended here with the mclaren the small one the 5070s and uh, yeah we just uh, had a quality and the practice and the race in uh, the rain we have heavy rain uh, for full race no uh, no chance to switch to dry tires uh, the full race was uh, was wet and uh, they have some incidents but uh, if you see the first corner and the first and the second corner and turn three everything is uh, clean as possible and uh, we are going to this straight line I will struggle here to to do full flat out this straight uh, the cars behind me are already lost some pace and uh, I have one second lead after four corners and the guys in front of me are average three seconds faster in the quality so so my pace wasn't uh, there where I wanted to I wasn't ready for doing a wet race but if, if I need to do a wet race I'm happy to do it in my favorite track uh, what is onward than anywhere else because at least I know I can uh, I can easily manage the corners and this is when we have this left-hander the, the BMW punted the McLaren and the McLaren coming back to the middle not checking where is the BMW I'm stopping here to avoid this guy and believe or not this BMW just saved me so when the, the Porsche started to spin in front of me the BMW just hit the nose and I have zero damage I have zero contact and uh, I survived this. So this is what was the, the first lap. Yeah, talking about luck, I was lucky to avoid it, uh, Pinky in the first uh, lap. And uh, he made a mistake here. And I saved this one too. So I, I had heavy braking, I went to the left side, he, he went to the other side. Um, so I survived one more possible accident and I'm still uh, have an amazing car with that uh, with that major damage and uh, yeah I was, I was lucky again as uh, always luck is uh, part of the race so if you are lucky you can you can survive uh, situations when when you're unlucky and you're in the wrong place in wrong time you just get crashed and you have zero chance to, to survive Yeah, we had two laps ahead. Um, I'm still uh, P12. I started from P16, so based on the accident and everything, uh, some guy just uh, lost some positions. They started to catching up. Uh, two ports is chasing me, and uh, yeah, I, I'm making a mistake here. I messed up the breaking point. I'm in the wrong place, wrong position, and I go into the grass, what is not the best things to do on the wet track. And I accidentally hit the Ginetta. Luckily the Ginetta was hit by the McLaren again, so he didn't lose position. He lost like 0.2 seconds, but after race we discussed this and I apologize for for touching him. He, he was said uh, he didn't lose time or anything, so he's not mad. Uh, yeah, this, this mistake was on me. And uh, yeah, this is just uh, when I snap under pressure. So I, I tried to, to do alternative lines when... when when the two Porsche, two faster Porsche is chasing me and uh, yeah I think this is stupid things to 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 lose control in in the sixth minutes on a one hour race especially in in, in full heavy rain uh, I had uh, good tire pressure I have 30 psi I don't have grip issues this was just uh, a driver error I didn't break on the point where I was supposed to do Yeah, if you're talking about mistakes, this is my second mistake. We are half an hour uh, in the race. I'm going to the pit to change my tires. Uh, tire change and refueling is not mandatory. At, at least one liter refueling is mandatory, but for the rest is not. And I'm going to the pit, not fixing my car because it's uh, fat. Okay, I have only 10-15 seconds of damage, so it's it's nothing nothing serious. 
and uh, I'm doing a tire change and uh, the tire change cost me 30 seconds and uh, my competitors just going to the pit doing one liter of refueling and leaving the pit so in here um, I lost 30 seconds for everyone who's behind me and uh, started, started the race with full fuel and uh, finishing in the same tire as the full competition, uh, full race so yeah this this was some tactical mistakes uh, but uh, I believe it will be paid off later. I, I have um, good grip from now on. I slow down like uh, one or two seconds from my first thing. Uh, but uh, yeah, the, the car feels okay. Yeah, a lot of people don't like to race in the in the rain in ACC. I don't know why, because your your grip is almost uh, almost there. The car is feels okay. You can adopt yourself to to race in wet conditions. And when you feel okay, but you will struggle to control your car, you need to understand you are not the only one. Uh, so there is an Aston Martin who is definitely faster than me uh, on on dry tracks and I'm just catching up with him he was like uh, 11 seconds uh, ahead of me when I did the pit we are 3-4 laps after the, the pit and I'm already catching up with him I know him from uh, one coaching community uh, he's, he's a safe driver so I'm, I'm not worried about to, to race with him in here he made a mistake as I said, you are not the only one who, who struggle on the wet. Uh, he's coming back front of me. Um, yeah, we be chasing each other for one lap. And uh, now this is my turn to to be the, the bad guy and uh, put some pressure on the car front of me. So the race is GT4, close race. Uh, the cars are much closer to each other when they race in than the, the GT3s. And uh, and it's super fun because the the race pace is a little bit slower. You can make uh, more mistakes if you have some contacts and you have like 15, 20 seconds of damage in GT3. You you have lost your arrow. You 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 just unbalance your car and uh, and after you cannot race uh, bumper to bumper. But in GT4s, I have 16 seconds of uh, damage on my car or or something around that, and my car is still feels okay. I not feeling I, I had to repair and yeah I just uh, following this uh, this Aston Martin less than one second for, for a full lap and I still feel myself very stable I went a little bit deep here uh, he went a little bit wide uh, on the same corner when I hit the, the inside and and this is the point when I'm getting close to him so I'm using this Apex way better. In here I need to already had to slow down a little bit. And now I have the speed to overtake him, but he's definitely very well, he's going to the inside. So I just decided okay, I don't have the inside, so I just take take away from him the, the outside uh, from this corner and expecting him to make a mistake here and, uh, and uh, mess up his braking. But no he's he's managed to, to turn his car. And when we're going to turn three here, he just hit the the inside curb and went to the tree, uh, went to the, the grass. And I'm just watching my mirror, expecting, oh my god, I hope he can uh, he can stop his car or I will get a torpedo in my side. But he, he managed to to catch the car and uh, I just overtake him. And this is the last lap. Uh, I'm choosing a BMW. Um, he was 20 seconds out of me in one point. Uh, I believe he didn't change tires. So this is when my grip is just way better. I'm two, two and a half seconds faster. And if you remember in uh, turn one uh, or lap one, uh, I had a guy who saved me from crashing to the, to the pinky Porsche. And this is the same BMW, so my hero at the moment, my my competitor, and he's taking my place. We are in last lap, uh, the fireworks will be starting soon when the P1 crossing the finish line. 
in here I have a better corner I'm already in attacking position trying to go a little bit uh, closer to the to the apex uh, he's defending well and in this position when I'm going uh, to the right side I'm already have a chance to be a little bit ahead of, uh, than him but he he has a better grip and better acceleration in this line so uh, he kept his position but he definitely feel him, uh, some kind of pressure from from me and I'm using heavy this uh, mm, mm, this curve and you can see the fireworks already started so we are in definitely last lap last corners last corner combination I have a better apex here and uh, here is the point when He's not that close to the apex, I was still half meter or one meter away. He went to the grass and this is the finish line. And I was super happy because I won this uh, position from him in the last last straight line. And the gap between us was 0 0.91 uh, second. So it was it was super 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 close. It was 0 0.091 so it was, it was very close. The race was fun. Everyone was uh, clean except the the turn uh, lap one incident. So I mm, I think the only incident what I saw is it was there. And um, after we went to the chat, everyone was super uh, super cool. We we discussed about the incident. I talked with the Ginetta driver, uh, said sorry for for I messed up the the breaking point. And yeah, I'm looking forward to this uh, with this league. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching, thank you for being amazing and awesome. Stay safe, stay cool, and I will be back later. Cheers.